and well met, gentlefolk. I'm Kelsey, and I want to go from rags to royalty. Overview, okay? Our girl is cursed. She is a witch. The witch hunter is living in her home, and there's only one bed. Her family all came over to celebrate the holiday with her, and the witch hunter's there, and she's more interested in someone else. A lot of you guys had so many great ideas in the comments, especially for her brother. I'll look over those and incorporate them into the next video. Video, but I love that some of you guys are picking up what I've been uh, feeding to you a little bit throughout the story. So it's been kind of fun seeing all of your guys' guesses and ideas. Also, a big thank you to one of our community members who messaged me this really great castle on Zillow Gone Wild. It is so cool looking that we'll definitely be incorporating it or trying to recreate it for our castle. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. It would be great to have you join our our danger fam and I would love to have you so that all being said let's hop into the video we return to our sweet baby angel who is cursed hopefully not for long she's living with Corbin McCrary the hot witch hunter a curse of its very own and our dad's here there he is and we need to go say hi let's go be thankful and be like dad we're not big into the grand meal of, of it all and I don't think our girl would really want to cook is dad leaving Bro, why are you leaving? Come over here. Come over for Harvest Fest. Jeez. Uh, why are you guys so deep into the forest? What the heck? Okay, mom's coming to hang out. Let's discuss our fears with our mom. No, mom! She's saying, see you later. No, mom. I want to discuss my fears with you. I've been afraid of fulfilling my dreams. I don't think I'm going to be able to make this castle work. Not with this witch hunter in my house, but I can't say that part. My mom just know I'm a witch. And she's like... Calm down, maybe your dreams will change, but regardless, you're definitely gonna meet your dreams. I have nothing but faith in you. We're all gonna sit down together. Let's uh, sing about Harvest Fest to our mom, share some outdoorsy tips. We're all gonna enjoy our time together. She just got this singing skill. Her mom's like an excellent singer and she's a terrible singer. I love it. Corbin and her are, ooh, having some side kisses. I mean, it's part of living in this town, okay? Ask about his career. Be like, how's the witch hunting going? And he's like, actually pretty well. I've captured a few witches, which would explain why her teachers went missing in the last episode. She's getting tired. It looks like he's also getting tired because he's heading up to bed. It seems like they actually can't share the same bed. I don't know if it's like the friendship or like that, I don't know what it is, but she's going up to bed. Oh my gosh, she's like, I'm gonna let him sleep in the bed. So she's gonna sleep outside on the patio here. Aw, that's very generous of her. You know, we could also always like take a potion to help with our sleep if we need, but I feel like we don't need. Oh, also we could just sell all this stuff, honestly. I'm even gonna sell the grapes because obviously strawberries do better than the grapes. Also, we do have a familiar orb of the raven. So let me know in the comments what our raven's uh, name should be. Also, I don't really know what the mandrake is gonna be used for, but whatever. We're having a snooze. Our parents, my parents are downstairs chatting and flirting with each other. I love that even all these years later, they still can like stay up all night talking to each other. We did not have very good sleep, honestly. She should have slept down here on this on this couch. Oh, Corbin's coming down. Okay, maybe then you guys can swap out the, the bed. <laughs> and you can go sleep now. Corbin said hi to her mom and is reading a book. He's reading the first unicorn. For a guy that's a witch hunter, he does seem very interested in magic and afraid of ghosts. Oh, what, what I wouldn't give for my poor Sim to have a bathroom upstairs. That's gonna be one big uh, life adjustment that we need. I also want a larger living space where we could have like a separate entryway. But all in good time, I think I might do the entryway first. Tell him an engaging story. We will not be sharing a secret. I saw that pop up. No, no, we are not sharing any secrets with this guy. We should have a deep conversation with him though. Kind of be like, why are you a, a hunter? It doesn't even feel like you're that into it. And he's like, oh, you know, it's the family business. My father and his father and his father were all hunters, but he just left before we could flirt with him. So I suppose we should go downstairs and take care of Sweet Belle, maybe give her some some pets and collect some eggs and scatter feed. Just, you know, pretend that we are the farmer that we are. Oh, Belle is accepting pets today. Oh yeah, we need to spray for some bugs. All right, now we can sell all the stuff that we've got from today. And that's like almost a thousand dollars. Not nearly what we could be making if this guy wasn't in our house playing with, oh, he's made a teapot out of his, his clay. Maybe he just wants to be a potter. 
her, which would be so cute. Now we're like, okay, sir, um, so fun to hang. I gotta go downstairs and check on my wine. <gasps> We finally have more finely aged nectar. Okay, so right now we have 2,300 as our highest finely aged nectar. So let's see if we have any that are gonna beat that. We got 2.6, okay, 2.646, 2.3, 2.7. Okay, cool. So let's move over all of these. We'll leave the 2.7 and I'm just gonna sell all our wine. Okay, 16K from just selling our wine that we actually did make. There we have it. Okay, now we're going to move out this one and then we're gonna do, oh, we're already at 22,000. And we're just gonna copy pasta just a bit, you know, just a lot of a bit. Oh, that was 3K. Wait, okay, wait, we're gonna keep that one now. Copy pasta the 3K one, girl. How much is this one? Okay, 3,003, perfect. Yay, I'm having fun. Look, she's feeling very inspired. Ooh, we got double. Yes, we got another two, okay. And they're all 3,003 simoleons. I just wanna get us up to like 50K and then we'll be, we'll be done for the day. That's gonna be about it. So 3K and another 3K, we got 55K. All right, we're gonna put that back in our inventory. So I guess we'll go back upstairs. What do we do now? We have all our money we want. We just have to, you know, we'll check in with him. Enthuse about gardening. We'll be like, oh, it's so nice doing a bit of a garden. I feel like if we just became better friends with Corbin, maybe he would sleep in our bed with us. So maybe we'll try that. Discuss some books, have a deep conversation, little inside joke. Ask about his day. What are you getting up to today? You know, it's only one. The day is the before us, really. Okay, they just became good friends. I'm wondering if maybe now they can like oh my gosh first kiss they're thinking about it they're bonding so much that they just really want to kiss each other but no maybe a little flirt though just like just for fun and they got a sentiment she's feeling really happy she had a good holiday with her family she made a new good friend with him she loves being outdoors she feels a deep connection and had a pleasant conversation she feels nothing but positive about corbin she has nothing but good things to say too bad that he's been hunting down you know her whole community but yeah <laughs> I think once we're done with this, it should be time. We might like head over to the magical realm. You guys said something about I could like do it on her stone. Let me see. <gasps> oh my God, I could have been doing this the whole time. The more you know. Oh wait, no, we don't, we shouldn't do it though. We should like go back here. We should be like, okay, we're going out. We're gonna go uh, go sell some wine in town today. I've played with spellcasters multiple times and I just didn't know that you could just travel to the magical realm that way. Oh, uh, all the time wasted. I'm gonna search some shelves. Oh, here we go. There's our friend. Let's go brighten her day once we're done looking for our tome and maybe like ask her for a potion recipe, AKA a cure for my curse. And like the ultimate mischief spell could be kind of nice. Oh, she seems paranoid. Yeah, I wouldn't, I don't blame her because uh, there's a witch hunter on the loose and she just got her job because the person before her went missing. Can you teach me a potion recipe? It is the potion of nausea. Great. That's not at all what I need. We're asking her for some mischief magic. We're like, we want to prank more people just for fun. <gasps> Infatuate? What? Convince two sims to get romantic with each other. <laughs> We're just gonna make everybody fall in love. And then she's also showing us the ultimate spell. Strangeify. Ooh. Make a, a sim appear repulsive to everyone around them. Oh, that's sad. I don't love that. Unless that sim sucks, in which case maybe it would be kind of fun. None of these really help me. Thank you for nothing. Pretty sure you can purchase tomes over here. So we're going to transporiate or whatever the word is. There she is. Boom, magic. Do you have any tomes for curses, please? Forced friendship, magical aura, and tome of minion eyes. All right, we'll take, uh, we'll take the lot. None of those are for curses, but my hopes remain high because once we know these tomes, we can't learn them again. We're gonna figure this curse thing out by sheer quantity of knowledge. And the other option is that we, if we level up, I think this might help us, the hexproof, I don't know. But it'd be nice not to be cursed again. Although if we don't do hexproof, you know, maybe we open ourselves up to more fun curses. We have opportunities. I learned a new po potion of magical aura. Okay, what's that? A potion that will display a Sim's magical aura. 
Okay. All right, and we learned to minionize, but that's the untamed magic. Control another Sim's mind and bend them to your will. Oh! Decursify could have been nice. Hey, Briar, Lily Zoo asked me out on a date. Should I say yes? What? What do you, what do you mean? What do you, what is he doing? Uh, I mean, he probably knows that we're dating Frederick, but is he just trying to make us jealous because it's working? Should you tell him I don't think it's a good idea? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes and just, I don't think it's a good idea. <gasps> That's showing your cards a little bit, girl, but I the slay. Just tell him no. No reaction from him. Forced friendship. We can force people to be friends. Cool, so we know some new stuff. Let's go back over to the main campus and track down the people we haven't asked to train us yet today. This guy is a good one. What's up? <laughs> Teach me a potion and can it be the one that lifts my curse? Prompt resurrection? What's that mean? This sim that drinks this potion will revive immediately if they die. Well, I guess teach me practical magic since I'm here. And I also would like the ultimate practical spell. Right of ascension. Bestow the gift of magic to another sim. We could make someone else magic. Oh, <gasps> that's kind of cool. All right, give me another little spell, please, sir. It is Homewardial, return to the magic realm. Okay, well, we already can do that, but that's fine, I guess. Curbio, and that's our last one of practical magic. So we're almost done with that one. Okay, now we need our girl who has the magic that actually would be helpful. I'm like, girl, I need you, okay? I'm pretty sure Untamed Magic has the, the decursify. Please be a decursify, please be a decursify. Zip zap! Harness electrical energy and give something a jolt. Yay! But right there, decursify. What about a potion recipe? We got transcendent charmer, a potion to unlock the power of romantic conversation. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Can you teach me the ultimate untamed magic spell? Duplicado! Ooh. What's that? Create a perfect replica of yourself for a time. Oh my gosh, obviously I'm gonna do that. Maybe we could like become best friends or like, I don't know, I could use her to do something. Let's duplicato myself. I don't know what she would do. Maybe we could have her go get me stuff. What's her name? Marley Thorne. Oh, we could command her to do things. Oh, they're besties. Can you cook for me though? Like, can you go make me some food? We need to cursify from Untamed Magic. So maybe if we just practice more Untamed Magic. It is 9 p.m. and she is pretty tired. We could just come back tomorrow. I'm just so mad. I thought it would be today is the day, you know? But I guess now we have our twin. Who, where did she go? Marley! Oh, she's reading a book. Oh, that's so Marley. That's so Marley. Magical duel, duel for knowledge. Yes, Marley. Maybe you could give me the knowledge of, of fixing my curse. Hey girl, fight me for some knowledge. Wait, can I do this to everyone? All right, we got to beat Marley so that we get more magical knowledge. Come on, Marley, give it to me. I know we're besties, okay? I'm sorry, I had to do this. Ooh, come on, Marley, just lose. Yes! Oh no, Marley! Oh God, Marley beat the crap out of us. Can we fight him for knowledge? We can. Oh my God. We're so gonna do that. All right, here we go, another duel. Oh, but he is like the sage of practical magic. So he probably will only give me practical magic spells. This, this is a bad idea. We should have done the other sage. And she's also getting exhausted. She's probably gonna pass out at some point. Oh, nope, she beat him! Girl, go off. Good job, Briar. Oh, he gave her a mischief magic anyway. Burglary, acquire something that doesn't belong to you. That's not what we wanted, but also kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> we didn't get to Cursify today, but we did get a lot of other new spells that we're probably gonna use at some point. Amazing, let's go home. I guess we'll just have to come back later. Kind of just don't want to keep going back to the magical realm, but I guess since we can just <laughs> go there very quickly, it's. Not that big a deal. It is 1230 and we and he's gonna be like, why were you gone for so long? You know what? Maybe she should just spell her way up there and then pretend like she didn't. She'll be like, oh, I was up here. You must have just missed me. Oh, hello, sailor. So she is kind of, okay, we need to, we need to deal with your magic girl because like he definitely will notice if you're just like all charged up like that. Girl, 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 don't go downstairs and do it. Okay, she's going downstairs. Well, then we can't discharge. Oh my God, I hope he doesn't notice us. Please just go outside, just go here. Don't, just don't notice me. Don't notice me, don't notice ah! She just flickered a little bit. Go inside the garden. He, he's not gonna notice it there. All right, perfect. We're gonna uh, discharge and then we're going to 
harvest everything. Yeah, man's not the wiser. Oh, hello, what, what, what brings you out here? He just wanted to eat his breakfast outside in the garden with us. That's so cute. Oh my God, they're so flirty with each other. Would you like a hug, Belle? Do you prefer a hug today? Yes, she does. She wants a hug. Maybe if we go downstairs and be like, okay, gotta go downstairs for my daily checking of my wine. And then we could like practice some magic here. Maybe we would like learn it on our own. There's not enough room. Okay, well then let's move this over to the side here. Are you kidding? All right, I'm gonna just put this up against the wall over here then. Literally so dramatic. I don't understand her. We're gonna, we're gonna she's like, if they can't figure it out, I'll practice it myself. <gasps> we learned something and it's, Inferniate. Gosh darn it. We literally have two more to learn and one of them is to crucify. Oh my gosh. But we now we can set things on fire. So that's, I guess, cool. <gasps> we did it. We did it. She learned to crucify. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Free yourself from the effects of a magical curse. Let's go. <laughs> God, it happened, it finally happened. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, let's decurse ourselves. Please let it work. <gasps> girl, she did it, look at her, how proud she is. Oh, our girl is so proud of herself. I'm so proud of you too, queen. Wait, she's supposed to age up today. Oh, no you don't, no, 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 no. Isn't there magic for that? Hold on, there is magic to keep her young. Forever. And I think the potion of rejuvenation is the one that we need to, to make her age back down. Can we like experiment on some potions, please? Maybe teach yourself a new potion. Please, please learn your, teach yourself how to stay young. She's so high level of a spellcaster. I don't think I've ever had someone be this high level before. Seriously? Okay, well, she didn't learn anything. We could still go back to the magic realm and learn how to make ourselves young again, but she is going to age up today and it is unfortunate. She's like, hey, wine's looking good ha, 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 ha. and i haven't chatted with my boyfriend in a while so let's uh and she's been thinking about it. she's like you know what as much as i really like corbin i just can't be myself around him i don't feel safe telling him who I am. So she's feeling lonely, I think, in her magic. So we're gonna go on a date. We're gonna go to the school library. Nothing like a dilapidated library that nobody ever goes to for us to bond as a couple and tell him my deepest, darkest secrets. Yay, we're here, let's talk. Okay, let's go sit, like brighten his day. Hey, Frederick, it's good to see you. Corbin's calling. In the end, Lily Zoo and I were not made for each other. He calls with ye oldie messenger on my date with another man when I'm just about to tell him about being a witch. I feel like she's just gonna do it out of spite now. She's like, no, I'm going with my head and not my heart. I have to tell Frederick who I am. Everything's gonna work out. He's gonna love and accept me. And then I'll have made my choice and Corbin can get out of my house. Oh yeah, we only have like three more days together. And then this day is over. Let's, you know, maybe like kiss him. She's like, it's so good to see you. What is he chatting with her about? Himself. He's talking about himself. He's like, I'm just the best, aren't I? And nope, he's going to the computer. Well, that lasted a whole few seconds before he just bailed on us and was like, I wanna go check out the computers. Let's just go sit, I guess. We're gonna sit inside. She's feeling nervous. I feel like she might be getting cold feet, especially after that call from Corbin. Let's have a deep conversation. I wanna chat with you. Are you really gonna chat with me over there? Frederick, get off the computer. You're making me mad. I'm trying to tell you that I'm a witch. Are you kidding me right now? You leave me no choice, Frederick. Stop being on the computer. She's also, let's, okay, let, before she does what she does, let's also remind ourselves, okay? She's a hothead. <laughs> no computer for you, Frederick. And he's like, oh my God, are you a witch? And she's like, yes. Do you see me for who I really am? Do you love me? He's like, um, what? She's like, it's fine. I have magic for that. Give me a second. I'm gonna chilio it. See, all gone. I did it. Also, look, I can repair it as well. Brava. This man is <laughs> shook. This man's like, <laughs> I don't feel like I know you anymore. And he's like, yeah, that's great. I feel like we should have maybe talked about this in a more healthy way. I'm not scared of you at all now, girl. <laughs> he's 
<laughs> he looks so nervous and confused. But she's feeling very confident about herself. Discovered thyself. She's feeling a close connection with him. She loves the decor in here. She loves that she just got him off the computer at last. I mean, he is paying more attention to her after that whole debacle. She's talking about her house. She's like, yes, actually, I've been using my magic to afford my house. Well, the date seems to be going okay. I wouldn't say it was the best date ever, considering I think she might have traumatized him. He hasn't gone running. That has to be a good thing. And it's her birthday. Oh, shoot, she's aging up. We're gonna just have to age her back down once we have magic. She's now in a, the same age as her parents. Don't think about it too hard. Let's talk about my deep secret that I revealed to you, I suppose. How do you feel about it, you know? Tell me everything. I want to know. They bonded over it. She's feeling like a closer with him i mean actually i feel like that went pretty well i'm i'm shocked i thought it would go pretty poorly he looked a little judgy and uh, nervous at first but i think he's warmed up to it weirdly he's gotten way more interested in her he's even trying to kiss her all right well these two seem to be getting along and this has only brought them closer together so i think she should ask him to be her boyfriend officially he said yes okay frederick just became the boyfriend of briar and now he's going to go nap on the couch because he's tired it was a legendary date there's something special in your sims household inventory oh she's doing crunches okay i didn't know you were that into fitness well i guess that means that puts an end to us flirting with corbin that she they decided to make it official i don't know she's happy so i guess i'm happy even though i feel like i'd prefer if she got with the witch hunter but we should we should uh, tell him like the news ask about frederick be like what do you what do you think of frederick we just became boyfriend girlfriend they've only met the once and uh in passing so we'll see how it goes i haven't had the pleasure of meeting him Okay, well, I, I feel like you guys were in the same room, but I guess, yeah, he was like, I don't know the guy. And she's gonna go upstairs to sleep. And I guess uh, that's that. Well, guys, I think it's about time to upgrade the house. Maybe she'll be, you know, celebrating her massive amount of money that she just made. And also, you know, this idea that now she has a boyfriend, this guy's gonna be moving out. So this little guy right here, I'm going to like adjust. I might just like delete it. Perfect. Okay, because I want to make it a little, a little different. I'm going to put these to the side. Also, I think I want this a little bit bigger and maybe this top could be bigger too. So there's room for maybe a dresser or something upstairs. So I'm going to add this like big old entry chunk and then we actually double it in the picture that I'm like basing it off of. It's a lot bigger. It's more of like a square. And then we can add this little liner guy here loving it and then for the stone i've been kind of vibing this gray for a minute i know it's crazy i think we're gonna go gray we'll see if it sticks i don't know if i'm gonna let this stick or not so then we do the little castle t tippy top but then we need to put it like really high up like we're talking pretty dang high and then we need a big old staircase it's not gonna be big, but it's gonna be like big enough that it feels like a drawbridge kind of vibe. It's starting to be a lot more castle-y. You guys can tell me if you hate it. <laughs> we'll, we'll go back to the warm tones, but I do think it suits. And that way we could also do these in those like really pretty blue, like look how pretty those are. Okay, so then we need the stairs. And then we get the castle Stay like fancy guys here. Make it feel really grand. And then we need the big old door. So this is the entrance so far. She's looking good. I think I'm just going to add, to be honest, this entrance because I could go all day as you guys have seen and we don't want to do that today. So we can do the castle estate like doors like the door can be the same into the castle maybe this is the bathroom i was talking about that i was like it'd be great if we had a bathroom upstairs Mwah! we have a bathroom now this i'm not quite sure what this is gonna be yet i think it might just be more castle i think i might want to make this like higher if that makes sense and this lower so maybe we add like another level i mean that's pretty crazy but at some point it might be that tall anyway. And then that way we can get like this little fence here onto this side. Oh my gosh. Kind of like that. Yeah. Dirty gray for the win. I mean, it's not my favorite, 
but it's not my least favorite I've ever seen. Obviously we're gonna have to add more towers and like make it thicker on the side, but so far so good. We're just working on this part, part today. So we need like a really fun window. I want it to be like pretty and circular, like maybe like one of these guys, you know? This one would be sick if it could be a little bigger because it would perfectly match exactly. Actually, we could put it here. I think this tiny little leaf guy should go somewhere though. Maybe like here. Tiny little leaf guy, you're really calling to me. You could do like one of these and then one of the long ones. I mean, that's very castle-y. It's not quite what the inspo image looks like, but it is pretty cool. That's a crazy bathroom. Now that I'm thinking about it, that's the most insane bathroom I think I could ever make. I don't think I should do this window for the bathroom. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go tiny windows and then maybe like another small window on the top. We'll just make it a small window area. And then we do something like our cute little guy. This guy. My little clothes leaf. We just put them up there. It's a little subtle, but I think it's gonna work for me. So I think we'll keep it. And then we need um, you to kind of go up underneath there. There you go. Maybe under here too. I kind of love this idea of maybe getting a giant door. Yes, imagine. This is so neat. Okay, let's do the more like chilled one, I think. Ooh, or this one looks pretty wild. Oh, that's cool. Okay. La final answer, we're doing this door. And then up here, we could have like some sort of hanging chandelier look. Maybe a little kind of this guy in the front with the, yeah, I think that's cute. It's not as fancy pantsy, but to be honest, we don't have a ton of fancy pantsy options. We need some little side windows maybe. I'm thinking like curved windows could be kind of neat right here. We'll just do like these kind of windows here. Looking fancy that's kind of the entryway done ish hello you're coming right in all right well we'll deal with that in a minute i guess and i want like some big old lights like outdoor lights oh these would be cute with the hanging stuff oh those are cute too i guess this blue one kind of works with the vibe maybe i don't know I guess we don't have to do the outdoor lights. We can maybe just do these guys instead. I just thought it would be cool to have some outdoor lights. We would just full send it, baby. We would make them a little smaller so they don't look so crazy. All right, that looks okay. And then I think we'll just move on to the bathroom really quick. Just something really simple. I'm not gonna go too crazy today because we gotta wrap this up, but it's kind of nice that we might have like a little bathroom up here to so that she doesn't have to go down. Now we have two bathrooms. Okay, we gotta get a little sink. And then we gotta do the toilet. And then we could also do like double vanity at some point, but not today. Like this little mirror that we got going on. So we're gonna add that with like a little ceiling light, maybe something like this. Looking good. And there we have it. Now we have a second bathroom upstairs. I think next time we'll add on to this, this over here. We add something else. I forgot this guy. I still want to put this on here. So I don't know how to deal with that. Like I still want you. I can't quit you. The fact that it's like half in my wall is upsetting, but we'll sort that out shortly. Maybe we'll pull it out further. That's the uh, next time's issue to have, but I'm going to save this one here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the episode and love the new direction. I am taking our castle. It's fun just like adding pieces on and adjusting things and making it this like growing, changing thing. So yeah, it's been fun hanging out with you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!